Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's CITI program webinar. Today's topic is tips for research administrators working with faculty and research teams, and it is presented by Karen Scarpinato and Jeannie Viviani. So in developing either an office that might handle large scale proposals, an office might be called strategic initiatives, there's lots of words for this. Um, it's typically housed in a research development office, but you really need to kind of assess and compile information across the university. Uh, obviously proposals of a large size are being done, could be done centrally, but a lot of times they might've started off being done at a decentralized level. So find out what are the types of proposals that have gone out the door, who's handling those types of proposals. Uh, really key is who are the principal investigator handlers. So there are your faculty who are very good at what they do at getting large grants and they're gonna be identified earlier on as being leads for larger center type proposals, but they usually have support in some way maybe. So find out who those individuals are. Uh, who's making decisions on the team selection for these proposals, and uh, if it's possible how those decisions are made if you get to know particular principal investigators at your university. Uh, but also who are the key decision makers and approvers at your university, notwithstanding traditional roles like the provost and or the president, but also maybe center directors or department chairs or deans. We also, you should also address what technology will be used as you move ahead on developing large team-based proposals because that in and of itself could be a, a two-day event to figure out whether it's Dropbox, OneDrive, or anything else to store the material that you're gonna be compiling. So get on the same page with the logistics and the people and it makes it a lot, a lot easier. And it's also important to read the solicitation. And if you're old school and you like to print it out, uh, this is actually a fun little kind of art project, if you will. You can use highlighters and red pens to write in the margins and note resources that might come to bear on a solicitation. Uh, I've gotten used to using things digitally now and using things technology-wise and using PDF to do the same thing. Uh, but some examples of large grant opportunities that I'm speaking of would be, for instance, NIH's uh, the CO6. Uh, U.S. Department of Education Title V and NSF's ERC, uh, which are really large proposals that require a team-based approach, not only that, both inside and outside your university, but also providing a full-on checklist and timetable of when things are due and who should be responsible for what really helps out the lead PI and the lead and the core team uh, themselves. I invite everyone to review our content offerings regularly as we are continually adding new courses and webinars that may be of interest to you all.